we are back again with some H22 turbo stuff. We got a third gen prelude. With the H22A turbo. 1320 top mount, tile 44 millimeter V band gate, stock motor. All custom, baby. Figuring out how to get the radiator mounted right now. Skunk to half size. <clears throat> so what we're trying to do, we're gonna use this existing tab. We're gonna pop off the spot welds on this one. Gonna move it over here. Gonna MIG weld it on, I believe. And radiator will be done. And then that's the main thing we're trying to figure out right now. And then we need to figure out a top piece that's gonna go across to hold up the hood latch and to help hold the radiator in place for support. Some of the cars got AM fuel rail, some 750cc injectors. Motor has ARP head studs. So we got this off. We were gonna get it welded on right there, but we don't have a welder in the shop currently. So we're just figuring out our oiling system. Kinda, there's a three AM line and then we got a four AM line. And we're just trying to figure out with what we got, how to make this work. Cause our goal, so today is Wednesday. We're trying to get the car over to a buddy, a buddy's house so we can have all the charge piping made by Saturday and it's Wednesday right now. So there's still a decent amount of stuff to do. So we're just trying to figure out what we can make happen to get the car running and driving so we can get it over and have all the piping made. So exhaust, wastegate, radiator, oiling system the return looks like it's gonna be pretty easy hopefully we won't have to switch it up when we get the piping made we'll see if we do i mean no big deal you usually always happens on a turbo cars but yeah with the three and line it's only a three foot line and, and it's gonna be really tight because the uh I believe it's the oil pressure sensor that's in the back of this is under the oil filter. So like on a B series car, it's on the top, I believe, or it's right, it's uh, right on the side, but down, but here it's like down here more. So we might have to go with this four AN line cause we got a lot more parts to make this work and we can kind of route it different ways with the three line, the three AN line, we have to, it's just harder to get more parts to make this work. And we don't have much time, so it's not like we can just order a part and wait for shipping to get here. So we're just probably gonna roll with the four AN line, get that working. Then radiator is the main thing. As soon as, as soon as we get that all on, then we can continue with everything else. So, Tomorrow, that's gonna be the main goal, is getting the radiator all done, so. Getting some of the core support mocked up. Got a piece of steel just going around here. Mocked up to where the hood's gonna go. So we're still gonna have our factory hood latch. And got a temporary up pipe made. So now we just gotta finish off with the radiator support and then Build something up here to help hold it in place. But yeah. Update on the car. Intercooler is getting mocked up. Radiator pretty much has found its home. It's pretty close to the main hole down there. So we're just gonna kind of monitor, monitor our engine coolant temps while we're doing the tune and seeing where it runs at. And it, if it starts getting too warm, we know why. But Honestly, 
it should probably be good. So, radiator is good, exhaust is good. We got our hoses ran, and we're getting ready to figure out the oiling system. We got this return line down here, and then it's just gonna be kind of tricky with the pipe that's gonna come down and around through here. So, I think we're just gonna try and run it straight down hug the runner right here and then try and twist and turn down there and it should work it's going to be tight like it usually is a little bit tighter because it's on a prelude but that's all good got the wastegate line ran on whatever wastegate is on so so what we're going to tune on and we're probably just going to leave the car on there you know goes around six to eight pounds right now. Yeah, six to eight pounds. So whatever springs in there, we have more springs we can throw in there to make it happen. And then we are doing a battery relocation. So it's not gonna be in the bay no more. It's being ran into the trunk. So we're gonna drill this into our trunk. And then we got our wire ran. This is some nice thick ass wire. Zero gauge. <laughs> Zero gauge. Some shit. And I got it ran coming from the back. It was kind of a pain in the ass because it's a prelude, but it's all right. And so this is ready to get screwed in. I just wanted to test fit everything and make sure it all fits. And then. We got this nice, cool little power converter thing. So we're gonna use that to go to the starter and our other accessories and whatnot. So everything's fitting pretty good right now. Thank you, Cody. And yeah, we're not really time-lapsing anything because there's really no place to put the camera right now. And it's just kind of like boom, boom, boom. We got, We are on a time limit. And we're just trying to make our goal. And we keep finding little stuff that we still need. Like we need a fuel pump still. And some other little tiny things. But other than that, we're pretty close. Just finished up with everything in the trunk. Got my ground wire ran up here to the shock tower. And then I just cut a little hole in the carpet right there. So it comes through. And... That would be our ground for the battery right there. Then power is right here. So that's all nice done. Wires are all hidden back there. So now we just got to move into the bay. All right, we got a power wire ran coming from the uh, battery up to this power converter or I forget what it's called, but it's like an accessory. So we have multiple different ports we can wire in. So we got our starter wire coming right here. So I'm gonna plug the starter wire into here and then fuse box wire into here and then. Okay, everything's all done. Got the fuse box ran and the starter. That's what it's looking like after it's done. Got this nice little plastic thing so it won't touch nothing. Looking pretty beefy. There's a lot more room down in there. Is there? Yeah, I cut those pieces out. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck, I don't know why my flashlight is on. Still gonna be a pretty tight fit. <sighs> yeah, I might have to cut a little more. We'll see. Hopefully, the couplers get here so we can fucking figure that out. Let me see this side. So yeah, this intercooler pipe is going to be really tight on this car. But, just getting close.
Oil return is ran. Nice looking line. Actually, it's getting close. Just got to run the oil feed line. Getting fluids put in the car right now. Getting ready to upload a base map to get it fired off. There's no charge piping right now, so we are just trying to get it fired and get a light tune on the car to get it to have the piping made. So, as long as she has oil flowing through her and it's got a consistent AFR, it'll be good. So, we're gonna go get the base map made, see if we can get her to fire up. Got a Honda to base map made for right now. The car is gonna be running on HTS, I believe, but just for now, we're just trying to get the base started and get the car able to get over to have the custom piping made. So, we're, I just reduced a bunch of ignition out of, and we got power out of the low cam and got to do some fuel adjusting there we go and at first we're just gonna be cranking the car to get some oil pressure going through the turbo and whatnot getting ready to try and fire it up Got the base map uploaded. Got the wideband chilling right here. Make sure everything's uploaded. All right, you uh, ready? Lean, so we need to add some fuel in. Probably just add it on the whole map. Add it in at 20%. Got the car fired up and running. Now we're just getting the rest of the body panels on. Front bumper is on, fenders are on, so the car is ready to go get the piping made. I had to modify the front bumper to fit the intercooler. Might have to do some more tomorrow when we get the piping made. I'm gonna have to probably do some more fabrication down here and down there, but it's so the price we gotta pay. There was a little oil leak out of the oil feed that we have to fix too. Other than that, car was running. We got coolant flowing through it and oil flowing through everything. We got idle kind of tuned and we just need to go get some drive time on the car now to go get a little mild tune. There isn't any charge piping coming off of the turbo. So we're just gonna drive it like that. 
and just get the air fuel in a reasonable spot so we can get down there and get all the piping made and after the piping's all made then that's when we're going to start the actual tune right now we're just trying to get it close and safe for the drive down there that's our main goal so wall row 255 in here now we pulled out this giant pump i don't know what the heck this thing is but got the car up and driving air fuel in a reasonable spot it's getting a mild tune slapped on the car now quick spark plugs and whatnot she's running pretty good right now though we we are happy we are happy Woo. making it places better back this thing in you know yeah yeah we gotta back yeah. in you know we can't pull it all normal whatnot we gotta let it be knowing that we boosted the more better this car runs the more i want to turn it up 300 plus, stock age. Got to switch the intercooler setup a bit. Just cut off the side piece. Gonna reload a piece on there. Also, got a couple tabs right here for the radiator so we can sit on our top support bar we got. We had to cut off this and reroute our pipe since our track bar was hitting it down here. So we got that rerouted. Okay, we just got this side of the intercooler done. We just cut it here, welded on a new pipe. And now that's gonna be going to a coupler and that's gonna be coming up to this pipe right here. Then we're gonna cut this, reposition it, and we're gonna put the blow valve on the back. And for this side, we just got pipe coming off the turbo, coming down, had to do a bunch of cutting, then we got a 130 degree coupler that's coming around through here. And now we just need something little to fit through there. So, definitely had to do some cutting, but it's gonna be well worth it. It is the next day now, and we got the cold side all done. We just got this little 90 pipe coming in to an adapter right down here coming into a 130 degree coupler into the intercooler and then we got this done yesterday made the clearance through here to a coupler to a straight pipe now we're just finishing up the rest of this side and then we're gonna put the blow off out back here and then it looks like she is ready to make some boost the radiator is looking real nice in there Got the hoses back on. It's coming out nice. Charge piping all finished up. Got the blow off valve installed. Nice fit. Getting the bumper back on. She's ready to go hit the streets. Woo, got the third gen on the road. Charge piping made. Hell yeah. Turbo, so we need a new one of these, but we're still gonna go try and get a 
slap a little bit more of a tune on the car, get feel more dialed in, just kind of see how it's driving around. Low cam feel dialed in, partial throttle. Kind of net picking the tune right now, making it look really nice, pretty, and whatnot. Make sure all the air feel is going to be good. Check over it on the wide band, make sure nothing looks rough. Make it all nice and smooth. The car is going to love it. Just net picking the tune right now, making it look nice. Driving through town trying to make some flames pop and a fucking cop just kind of lights us up and just lets us drive by. So I guess that was a warning telling us to slow down. We weren't even speeding or nothing. We are just trying to make the flames shoot out the fucking up pipe. But no, he didn't like that. Ah! 
started in. I am ready whenever you are. What the fuck? Why is it not recording again? All right, go. second if you want just to get fuel close. can feel pretty much all dialed in nice and smooth feels in a good spot car is ripping pretty good for how low we have the ignition turned down right now so it feels in a really really good spot and we felt the car pick up a pretty good amount of power just by getting feel in the right spot so low cam feel is good we're ready to, to move into low cam ignition and turn the car up but we're gonna wait till we get a different turbo so we're just gonna kind of leave it right here until we get the new turbo in the mail and it's supposed to rain for like the next week straight so we'll see we might, we might have to wait a whole weekend to make something happen but car is doing good holding together good 